Back in high school, I had a small group of friends consisting of myself and three others, and we did a lot of weird things around campus at lunchtime. For the most part, we'd just walk around at lunch, but there were some really strange days. One day, I was walking with my friends and I told them that I needed to go take a bathroom break. Well, one of them, named Gage, told me that he was going to follow me into the bathroom. I looked at him and said, You better not follow me into that bathroom, you freak. And I walked in. Now, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. Gage liked to joke around, and at that time in his life, he was actually pretty shy. But as I'm doing my dirty work, I hear Gage say right in my ear, Is there room for two on that thing? I scream at the top of my lungs, Oh my god, why would you do that? And not even thinking, mostly because of the shock of it all, I started spinning around. Gage booked it out of the bathroom, and there I was turned a whole 180 degrees. And I'm still peeing. Quickly, I spun back around and I finished up. I felt terrible, but it wasn't my fault, and I got out of there as soon as I could. What a jerk. So I was playing soccer one day in PE. On the sunny days, we went outside and played baseball or soccer or run track. And any other day, we were inside playing kickball. Anyway, I'm the kind of guy who the lazy kids called the tryhard. Meaning I was one of the only kids in the class who actually played the sport. And when I play sports, I get competitive. Well, I was scoring goals left and right, and as was the other team. When this kid on the other team jumps up and steals the ball from me. Now, I had this really cool move where I would jump over certain people and kick the ball right over the top of their heads. Well, the ball was coming right for me, and that's exactly what I did. I jumped up and kicked the ball right over the guy who had stole it from me. So he does it again. So I run up to him, and I go to kick the ball. But he shoves me in midair a bit, so instead of kicking the ball, I accidentally kick him in the face, and I fractured his nose. Now, I felt bad for this, but he ended up telling me that everything was fine, no hard feelings. Well, the next day, we're playing soccer again, and this time, a different kid and I were one of the only ones on my team actually playing the sport. Well, the ball was kicked almost straight up in the air, and I ran underneath it to headbutt it into the goal. Well, this other kid had the same idea, and we ran full speed towards the ball as it was falling out of the sky, and only last minute did we realize that we were on a collision course. He flew back and I was knocked away, vision blurred. I felt something in my mouth and I spit it out only to realize it was a piece of my tooth. I felt around with my tongue making sure it wasn't a front tooth and luckily for me, it was the back part of my molar. I still feel pain sometimes when I eat cold things. As for the other guy, I fractured his nose as well. I decided soccer was not the sport for me. We had this kid in school named Brandon, and he was the bully. Now, I don't take to bullies well, and he and I didn't really like each other because of this. We never fought or anything, but he liked to pull my chair away from me when I tried to sit down, and if I ever saw him picking on someone other than me, I'd find a way to get his attention. I was fine with harassment. I don't care if bullies call me names or push me around, because I could take it. But I didn't like seeing my friends and schoolmates getting roughed up, so I tried to make myself the target. And for the most part, that was never an issue. Most of our bullies were all talk, so I only had to deal with name-calling mostly, which, who cares? Anyway, we're in class, and Brandon was being extra annoying. He tried pouring water in my chair so it looked like I peed if I were to sit in it. But I saw it and wiped it away, and then sat down. That's when I realized our teacher was a substitute. I could definitely use this to my advantage. She did roll call and started the lesson. She talked for about 10 minutes and then handed out worksheets. Well, I went over to Brandon and I told him that I needed help with my assignment. I don't remember his exact words, but it was something along the lines of, screw off, I'm not giving you answers. That's when I looked at him, smirked, and said, so be it. I grabbed his backpack and ran to the window of the classroom. Before he could even get out of his seat, I had thrown his backpack outside and he flipped out and ran out of the classroom to recover his pack. The substitute was furious, and she told me to sit down. After I did, she got up in my face and asked me, What's your name, son? I looked at her with a smile and said, Brandon. 
She wrote the name down on a piece of paper, and the next day, Brandon got detention for misbehaving during a substitute's visit. I gotta tell ya, I felt like an action hero for that one. Bye, guys.